Well, thank you very much, ladies, for that powerful and empowering conversation indeed. And we're keeping the focus on that topic, talking about taking pride in yourself, which is something that I think a lot of people, a lot of us do struggle with, especially living in a world where the goalpost for beauty is constantly shifting. Now, that's something that self-taught photographer Komoto Neto is trying to change with his latest exhibition called Turning Heads. Komoto Neto is a self-taught photographer that's been making waves with his alternative and striking form of photography for some time now. You may have seen some of his pictures showcased at the Brie Taxi Rank in Johannesburg not so long ago, but it's his latest exhibition here at Artivist titled Turning Heads. That's literally turning heads. Let's go catch up with him. Komoto, talk to us about your love for photography. How and where did it all begin? The whole thing, how it happened was, I, I had never thought that I'd become a photographer. It, it happened out of the blue, really. Like, I was, it was a time where there was a whole lot of wave with uh, people posting their stuff online, and I think that sort of like caught my eye also. And actually, a lot of people don't know this, but I bought my camera on credit. So, I paid my camera over for like two years after I had bought it. So. And I, I think from then on, as I kept on shooting, the love sort of like kept on developing because at the time I wasn't really buying it with like any clear intention, so to say. How exactly would you describe your style of photography? Like I love stories generally, you know? And I think it's really important that we, we tell stories how we know them. And I think my style is a very honest one in a way. I, I can't really describe it per se for myself, because I still think I'm at a process where I'm still developing what I'm really into with, with photography. I mean, the whole thing is a journey. I started from a point where I didn't know that I would end up becoming the photographer that I am today. It hasn't really been a, a long while, so it's still a really like a long way to go in, in order for me to actually know the type of photographer that I am and what I'm really into with photography. Let's talk about the exhibition here at Artivist. What prompted you to create this body of work? I was at a point where I needed to create a project that will speak to the street photography element of my style of photography and the commercial element of photography. I thought of, of like a few ideas that I could incorporate together. Um, and one of them was that came immediately to me was how we groom ourselves in the streets as black people, like in the, the street corners, uh, go salon, in the, go, go kasi. It was an idea that was quite clear and I couldn't let go of. But I knew that at the time I wasn't gonna be able to do this by myself. So I called up a friend of mine who's a stylist, didn't then to Sani, and I told him, yo, I have this idea, I have this colors that I have in mind, um, I have this props that I have in mind, and, and I want you to collaborate with me on this on this project. Before I created the project, I, I knew I wanted a project that was gonna speak mostly to how we groom ourselves um, in the street. So like Korean gang, you know, that there's a whole process that people have with, with themselves and, and their barber or their hairstylist before they go. They have to prepare yourself mentally. And the name itself, Turning Heads, is taken from Gokasi. Like, there's a, I don't know how many salons I've seen in the hood written Turning Heads. And what it essentially means is that you walk in this place, when you walk out, you're gonna be Turning Heads. The relationship that black people have with their hair can be a very controversial topic. What is that relationship like for you personally? I mean, all I know is that for me, after coming from the guy who cut my hair, my barber, is that I feel good. After good at Chiscop, clean chair in I know that I feel good. For someone else, it might be something different. Uh, they might get a fade, they feel good. Someone else gets braids, someone else relaxes their hair. The main point is that a lot of people have different relationships with hair and they feel good after walking away from where they do their hair. Some people like to keep their hair natural. Uh, some like to, I guess, relax their hair, use whatever products that they find. But I mean, as a person, if you are proud of the hair that you have and it makes you feel good, you feel good internally, you feel good wherever you are, you turn hair wherever you go. There's no doubt that we're going to be seeing a lot more thought-provoking work from this trailblazer in the not-so-distant future. If you want to catch Turning Heads, the exhibition, make your way to Artivist here in Bramfontein, Johannesburg, and enjoy a cup of coffee while at it. It's on until the end of Feb, and trust, you don't want to miss this one.